How you doing? We usually do unboxing videos here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4367-419-531-6097. Again, uh, this plaza has a couple of other great shops. Uh, you got Video Game Underground. They've got the spiciest, tastiest games and all around in the underground. And then you got Checkmate Games for your role-playing needs, whether you be Dungeons and Dragons, you can be Odd God of the Thief, or you got magic cards, you got Pokemon, stuff like that. But like I said, usually do unboxing videos, but I was digging through a bunch of boxes last night looking for other other shit. And and this uh I knew I had trades back there, so I dug out a bunch of trades I needed. Didn't realize how many trades I needed, especially these Marvel Essentials. But these are getting ready to go out. So this is what we have. We're restocking a bunch of amazing Spider-Man, Marvel Essentials. You know, this is great stuff. The old Lee Ditko, then John Romita Sr., and Don Heck, and uh, you got Ross Andrew, Gil Kane, John Basama, Jim Mooney, uh, you know, doing all these great comics. Now, these are all in black and white. Somebody might see that's a, a turnoff, but, you know, you get to see this stuff, stuff without, uh, I guess, without the color. And it's raw. If you want to color it, um, you know, scan, scan some pages on your computer and go to town. You know, you can, you can color these things all that you want. Uh, you know, however you want. Look, it's the, uh, Terrible Tinkerer. As he looks now, uh, the current issues of Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man, they made him a pretty boy. So he's a pretty boy in there. He looks much nicer than what he did in his original appearances. But we do have, like I said, these amazing Spider-Man, uh, essentials. Now, they're not at the original prices, uh, $16.99 or $14.99 or... You know, these things are out of print. So, they have, some have been marked up a little bit to reflect that. Uh, some are in the, they went through different styles, different, uh, uh, different trade dresses as they call it. I think this was, this was the, the, the last, the last change in the, the trade dress as far as how they did that. These were in the previous ones. I do have some from the first trade dress that I'm not, not ready to sell yet. Some from the, uh, you know, very first printings. Uh, here we got the Fantastic Four, Volume 2. Uh, you got the Volume 1. See, uh, Kirby and, and Lee. You got the Avengers. You've got Captain America. That's got a John Romita and an L. Milgram cover on it. You've got some of the Daredevils with the, uh, with the, uh, the Gene Colan or John Romita covers and Bill Everett. Official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Good, good reference books, you know, for these characters. You know, did you, did you ever want to know exactly the Hulk's real name, his legal identity, other aliases, place of birth, Dayton, Ohio. Did you know that he was born in Dayton, Ohio? Talks about his his family. There you've got Hella. You know, as drawn by Walt Simonson. You got Hawkeye Sky Cycle. Did you want to put a Sky Cycle together? Here you go. You can build your own Sky Cycle. You got Nick Fury. There's Eagle of the Living Planet, as not seen in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie because Hollywood is embarrassed that they have to do comic book movies. Oh, got to do comic book movies. Can't we make these things realistic? Embrace it for the fantasy you're doing. Does that look like freaking Kurt Russell? You've got Dagger. Of course, she's not going to have that costume on in the series because that's too sexy. You know, Beta Ray Bill. Will we ever see Beta Ray Bill in the movies? You know, Thor's getting his hammer, so to speak, because it was not his hammer. But there you go, Avengers Quinjet. You want to build a Quinjet? Here you go. Put one together. You know, you got Ares. You got Asgard. You know, Asgard the Continent. Different Asgardians. Probably as not seen in the movies. Different Atlanteans. You know, again, uh, this... These books are so are so great. Just all kinds of knowledge, you know. The Avengers, different Avengers throughout the years, up to that point. You know, all the Avengers. The Avengers had standards. The Avengers just didn't take anyone at uh, like they like they do now. Um, Atlanteans. You got Avengers. Where's it at here? Look, it's not a Tuma. 
it's a Tuma. But like I said, the Avengers had standards. Uh, you look at that, some of this stuff, this whole great Jamba Sam artwork. There you got the Black Panther showing up in there. The Monarch and the Man Ape. He's the Man Ape. That's his name. He's a Man Ape. He should have been the Man Ape in the movies. You know, it's not racist, no matter what you think. It's African. Africans have different ways of looking things than Americans. It's not racist to Africans. But you've got the vision. Even an android can cry. But there's a very interesting fact in this book here. For they're getting ready to make the Avengers a the the vision an Avenger. But Iron Man says, becoming an Avenger is a is not a right but a privilege. These days in the Avengers, it's like anybody can become an Avenger. You know, it's 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 no longer a privilege. You know, they want to make anyone an Avenger. But uh, here we've got Godzilla, King of the Monsters, published by Marvel. It's all 24 issues. This is out of print. Marvel can no longer publish these. Defenders, you got the Iron Man. you got the Punisher. Now, this has the Punisher miniseries by Mike Zeck that came out, the five-issue series. Issue five was not drawn by Mike Zeck. Issue five was done by Mike Wallsberg. Uh, I don't think they planned on there being five issues initially, but it reprints early Spider-Man issues. It reprints some of the black and white stuff that he had done also in Marvel uh, Premiere and Marvel Super Action. Got his very first appearance. You got his second appearance in 134 at the end. Spider-Man and him talking, talking about the, the Jackal, how he was just a pawn. There's the Jackal. You got Harry Osborn and becoming Spider-Man. Got the man called Nova, Richard Ryder. You got the Marv Wolfen. You've got John Basama. Then you had Sal take over. This is great, great stuff. One of the best books out there. Marvel Team Up. You got the Jim Starlin cover. You got Marvel Two and One. Uh, Thing Hulk, which you've got Gil Kane. You've got Jim Starlin there doing some artwork. Jim Starlin, Joe Sinnott. Uh, you got Jim Starlin doing Hulk Thing Battle. You've got the Silver Surfer. You've got Luke Cage Power Man. Him fighting uh, Moses Magnum with a great Dave Cockrum artwork. Savage She Hulk. Stan Lee did the first issue, created her well, with John Basama, and then you had uh, Mike Volsberg take over and David uh, Anthony Kraft. Uh, the uh, Spider Woman with uh, Sal Basama. You had Carmen Infantino. We've got Marv Wolfman, uh, Archie Goodwin. You've got the Marv Wolfman and Gene Colan, uh, Tomb of Dracula uh, Essentials. This is one through four. I am going to be selling those as a set. All four as a set. That's my only volume one I have, so I'm going to sell that as a set. You've got the Thor, Jack Kirby cover. You've got Classic X-Men. You've got Wolverine. And plus, I'm going to be doing another video. This is just primarily just on the essentials. Just doing the essentials right now. And I'm going to do one on some of the other trades I dug out. Like all of these here. We've got Cryptodon, a signed Cryptodon by Joe Lindsner. We've got Origin by uh, with Wolverine by Joe Quesada. We've got some of the Alex Ross and Kurt Busiek Marvels. A bunch of JLA trades that are out of print. Uh, you got some of these Stephen King's Dark Tower hardcovers out of print. I found a bunch of old Marvel pens from the late 80s. I'm going to put these out for sale so you can certainly come and buy these. Buy these retro pens. Everybody think that you're cool. Here's some of these other hardcovers that I found. Got the Walking Dead. You've got some of these reference books. These things are great. These things are so cool. You've got a comic fan in your life. Buy them these. You'll keep them busy for hours. A bunch of Ultimate Spider-Man trades and hardcovers that I'm out of. But we're going to, uh, I'll talk about those a little bit more in depth. But going back to to this stuff again, you know the thing, and 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 you've got Doctor Strange, and you've got Namor, you've got Howard the Duck uh, by David Gerber, and you've got Gene Gene Colan, you've got Sal Basama, you've got Frank Bruner. This is some wild stuff. 
Howard the Duck is not not for everybody. Uh, and 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 Steve Gerber, man, what a creator he was. The guy was uh, ahead of his time. And again, you got some Iron Man stuff there fighting the gray gargoyle. Oh, Shellhead. Can't beat Shellhead, man. This Tony Stark stuff was great. It's before Tony Stark was a dick. You know, they feel that uh, since he's rich, they have to make him a make him an asshole. You got that George Tusca artwork. George's stuff was very unique. He was a long, long stable artist for uh, for Shellhead. And then you had the Gene Colan covers. The Gene Colan covers were always just, man, they made you want to buy that book. They made you want to buy that comic. You know, there's another. You know, the covers, covers were vibrant. Got some of the Salva Sama Captain Americas. Now this one here, this artwork was not Sal. This was Lee Wise, Lee Wise. His stuff, uh, he was ahead of his time too. Got Dr. Faustus, you got him in the Falcon. Fight Nazis, he's fighting Nazis. He wasn't a, was not a Nazi. You got with the Punisher. Got some John Byrne artwork. They issue 200 re the, with the burglar. You got the black cat. Check that out. That's nice. Some talent there. Certainly some talent in these books. You got this, this Keith Parlard. Keith, uh, man. You got Jim Starlin. Keith took over after Ross Andrew left for a little while. After he left. You got the clone storyline. Him fight man thing. Got the lizard. The lizard lives again. You've got Cyclone. Got the Punisher again. You got Mysterio. These comics are great, but we've got these essentials back in stock, so come buy them up at JC's Comics or more, your pop culture superstore. Thank you. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks.